Hi guys and thank you so much for joining me today. I think I'm due for an organizational video. It's been a long time since I really organized something in my house and today I tackled the two kitchen drawers in my kitchen that have been driving me absolutely crazy. Um, if you have previously watched my TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart haul that I posted, I purchased these organizational drawer inserts to help better organize these amazingly disgusting disorganized drawers in my kitchen. I've been putting it off forever and I'm really happy that finally today I'm just going to tackle it and get it done. And I thought I would bring you guys along to just show you the before and after. So I hope that you enjoy. So here is the front of my cabinets and I'm going to be tackling this top drawer here and the bottom drawer down there. This middle drawer just has all of my pots and pans because the stove top is right over here. And let me just show you. This is where I keep all of like my serving spoons. And I used to have them on top of the counter, like in, um, I don't know, in one of those serving spoon holder things, one of those ceramic things. But I felt like they got dusty and gross that way and greasy. So I like to keep them in a drawer, but like really guys, <laughs> could this possibly be any worse? This is pretty bad. And the kids help me put things away too. So it's not like the organization stays well when I do it. And then here is the drawer of mass destruction. Um, yeah, I don't even know. It's like barbecue utensils and ice cream scoopers, extra um, plastic cutlery. It just, it's a bunch of random things that we basically don't know where else to put it. So I'm gonna try to make some sense of that as well. All right, let's get started. Shut up and sit down. Okay guys, first drawer is done. I think it looks amazing. It's so much better. Everything is so much more organized. I got rid of nothing. That's the unfortunate part. I thought that maybe I could get rid of certain things, but I can't. I love my wooden spoons and I use them all. You can see they're pretty worn. I use them all the time. Um, and these guys, like, I don't know. I really don't need that many, but they're so cute and I just really like them. And it's not like I don't use them, I do use them. So I think everything fits in here really, really nicely and it's organized. And now even if the kids help me put stuff away, even if they don't really categor categorize it exactly the way I'd like them to, at least they're putting it in a compartment and not just like throwing it in a big open drawer. All right, let's tackle the bottom. That's gonna be the real challenge. Okay, here is everything that I pulled out of that bottom drawer. So this time I really have to get rid of stuff. So I'm gonna go through everything here. I'm gonna organize it. I'm gonna throw some stuff out and I'm going to donate some of these items because it's just way too much for that drawer. Okay, and here is the bottom drawer. I still have a lot of stuff, but at least now I can see what I have. So in the front here, I just have all of my barbecue utensils. And then I have sandwich cutters there, um, wine bottle, beer bottle opener, things in this compartment here. 
And then I have all these like little doodads and gadgets um, from Pampered Chef and stuff like that. And I do use them a lot. So they're just all um, corralled over here. Back here I have my ice cream scoop and peelers. And then this is where um, we keep all of our stuff for pumpkin carving for Halloween. And really now that I think of it, I probably could free that up and just pack that away with the Halloween decorations. But I don't really like to pack utensils and dishes. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter anyway because it's not like we're eating with that. Um, I just don't typically like to put that type of stuff in our basement. And then over here I have our food saver and I was able to corral all of the bags into this bucket here. So that's a lot neater. And then just our little um, ice pop things that I had purchased from the dollar store. And that is everything. I just think it looks so much better. And the top drawer, I am really happy with. Everything is a lot more organized than it was. And I am so happy that I tackled this project today and now it's done after hemming and hawing about it for like, I don't even know, a year or two now maybe? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it inspired you to tackle an area in your house or more specifically in your kitchen that you've been putting off. Those kitchen drawers can just get out of control so quickly and I guarantee you in a week or two, those drawers are not gonna be what they are today, but at least I have them organized in such a way that there's compartments to put things and it's not gonna just be like scattered all over the place like it was before. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below so that I can update you every time I have a new video to share. Please follow me on Instagram at Jen's Happy Home. And thank you again for joining me today. Take care, guys. Bye.